enactment of the Bank Somoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao through the enactment of the Republic Act No. 11054, also known as the Bank Somoro Organic Law, the BARM gives opportunity to the Bank Somoro MSMEs and private sectors. The Ministry of Trade, Investments and Tourism is currently conducting simultaneous mapping and profiling of MSMEs in the provinces of the Bank Samoa region, including the Cotabato City and Strategic Geographical Area of the BARMM. Poverty amidst abundance. There are still many untapped investments and tourism potentials that would eventually lead to local revenue generation of the LGUs in the BARMM. The COVID-19 pandemic had caused the formal and informal sectors massive loss on their businesses. In these trying times, vulnerable groups were badly affected. With these, recovery and rehabilitation programs are needed now more than ever. For the 2022, the MTIT will continue to strengthen its trade and industry, tourism, and investments programs to address the socio-economic issues throughout the region. The ministry proposed to provide institutional support such as facilitation to the clients, providing capacity development and technical know-how in the business operation, and the ministry also offers subsidy on the business registration. We support our stakeholders through product development. The Ministry proposed to subsidize on the initial product packaging that is compliance with the FDA and Halal. The Ministry will also provide shared or common service facility such as buildings and machineries for the clients to cope up with the demand and competency level of product development. The Ministry offers assistance on the market development and promotion of the Bangsamar MSMEs and industry clusters. The Ministry will offer assistance on the market development and promotion of the Bangsamar MSMEs and industry clusters. The Ministry will link the stakeholders to promote their business and industry to widen their market. To ensure sustainability and development, the Ministry will strengthen monitoring, regulation and accreditation services. The Ministry also proposes to continuously implement the Go Negotio Act through strengthening the establishment of the Negotio Centers throughout the region, as well as the assistance to the LGUs in ensuring their competitiveness and investment readiness through compliance to the Cities and Municipalities Competitiveness Index or CMCI's four pillars, such as economic dynamism, government efficiency, infrastructure, and resiliency. To revitalize the connection, the MTIT will also provide export facilitation and regulation through BIMP Yaga and Barter Trade. Through these interventions, the MTIT envisions that everyone enjoys the benefits of inclusive and resilient economic development propelled by sustainable trade, investments, and tourism in the Bank Samoro. Assalamu alaikum, magandang araw, Bang Samaro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao and welcome to the first ever MTIT Photo Contest with the theme, Bang Samaro Revealing Its Hidden Treasures. I am Fem Mambatawan, your host for today. I hope everyone is ready and excited as we recognize the talented Bang Samaros in the field of photography. I am sure that our contestants have been waiting for this moment. And so, without further ado, let us start our program with a prayer, followed by the National Anthem and Bangsamoro Hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging, kaya sa sinahanan, Sa 
Today, we are honored to be joined by our officials from the Ministry of Trade, Investments, and Tourism. To welcome us, let's call on the Deputy Minister of MTIT, Attorney Socarno Abbas. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam Wa la asrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin Amma ba'd Assalamualaikum Wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu For the participants who joined this photo contest We would like to extend our thanks All of your entries are actually beautiful to us But we know that in every contest there is only one or two who will win. But to us in the MTIT, you are all winners because you have contributed to the collection of different sites uh, in, in the barn that will eventually be part of our promotion activities to attract foreign tourists or even uh, local uh, tourists. Rest assured that we shall continue this kind of project on promotional activities to showcase the Barm's natural assets as well as the assets within us. Cleanliness is half of faith as required in Islam religion where most of the Bangsamoro people who are residents of the barn must adhere to to the preservation of our surroundings, the environment, the forest, the waters contribute much to the tourism industry. Cleanliness is not only about cleanliness of ourselves but also cleanliness of the surroundings the waters, the forest, the mountains, proper waste disposal, and most especially internal cleanliness. All of these contribute much to our tourism industry and to the appreciation of outsiders such as the foreigners and visitors in, from other places. Thank you, Deputy Minister Attorney Socarno Abbas. As we recognize the Barm's hidden treasures, the Director General of MTIT, Roslaini Alonto Sinirimbo, is also here with us today to give her message. I would like to express our gratitude to those who took time to explore Bangsamoro and submit their entries. Uh, it was really a revelation. Not so many of us, even, even among those living in the Bangsamoro. So through you, uh, maraming na-reveal, maraming na-discover uh, and explore places uh, through digital technology. So through this photo contest, mape-prepare tayo when the the economy opens again. May vaccine na. Meron ng uh, opportunity. Uh, but we can explore beautiful places in the Bangsamoro. So with this, you're not only opening, helping opening the economy, but you're also putting food in 
uh, on everyone's table uh, if you patronize yung local um, places natin uh, unexplored. So, uh, nakikita natin na sa Bangsamoro Autonomous Region sa susunod na 5 years ay lalago ang ating turismo. With a stable government, uh, stable uh, peace and order, at uh, infrastructure support at investments, nakikita natin na maraming magsusulputang tourist destination na pwede enjoy not only locally but ng mga turista natin from the outside. Inaanyayahan ko kayo na tignan yung mga uh, winning photos natin and discover yung hidden gems natin dito at lagay nyo sa bucket list nyo sa next na travel uh, sa next na travel destination nyo and always choose Bangsamoro. Thank you, Director General Roslaini Alonto Sinarimbo. Let us also hear a message from the MTIT Minister, Abu Amri Tadik. To the contestants, viewers, partners, and all MTIT staff, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Of the Ministry of Trade, Investment, and Tourism, through the Bureau of Tourism, Kirish Natay. Bangsamoro revealing its identity. The Bangsamoro region is not only melting pot of a uh, diverse culture, but also a place of many pristine gems and destinations that people have been to discover. For many years, the region has suffered huge blow due to armed conflict and it is for this reason the image of the Bangamoro region is still badly affected when it comes to tourism. The farm has many untapped uh, potential such as uh, legacies or values, product, resources, culture and pristine sites which are all authentically uh, reserved and handed from generation to generation. This is also the purpose why the Ministry, through the Bureau of Tourism Initiative, have this context to showcase the region a rich tourism. Uh, trade and industry asset authentically unique and flourishing in the Jeeves Ingenious Arts Heritage and uh, Biodiverse Research. With the objectives of creating an economic friendly environment that will generate jobs and revenue increase of the region, we thank all those who submitted their photo entry your significant contribution to the promotion of the region and help project the image of the Bangtamoro Autonomous Region in Kuslin, Mindanao. To the winners, congratulations. Keep on harnessing your talents in the art of photography by revealing more of the region identification. Maraming po salamat. Thank you, Chief Minister Abraham, for your message of support. Before we proceed to the awarding proper, we are privileged to be joined by the Board of Judges who deliberately scrutinized each of the qualified photo entries.
Our first judge is Ferdinand Cabrera, a dynamic journalist with 18 years of experience and versed in writing and editing for multiple digital media, social media, and online platforms. He is adept in photo and video editing and working towards strict deadlines and also committed to incorporating feedback and creating unique and dynamic pieces to increase publication traffic and an innovative multimedia journalist committed to working quickly with accuracy and extensive knowledge of linear and online editing. He is also an experienced journalist and documentary producer with extensive background in delivering captivating visual, written, and online pieces mostly exposed to conflict zone areas in Mindanao. He is a storyteller and interviewer of peace, conflict, and development narratives for Minda News, GMA News TV, online photos for Inquirer, Manila Bulletin, Rappler, Agency France Press, and had worked with several international organizations including Vice News for HBO, Washington Post, and Associated Press, and several others. With over 15 years in the field of driving public opinion and trends, on the go conceptualizing and reporting on diverse stories, he had been a short-term multimedia consultant and content producer for UNDP, the Asia Foundation, UNICEF, Oxfam, World Bank, International Alert, IAG, and several government agencies and non-government organizations. Our second judge is Amir Mawali, a human rights advocate and has worked as a writer whose experience includes the documentation of the narratives of his people, the Muslim minority in the southern Philippines. Following his stint in the mainstream Philippine media, Mawalil entered government service in late 2012 as Director for Public Information of the now-defunct Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, serving in that capacity for over six years before going on to take a one-year stint as Director of its Youth Office. Mawalil is now one of the members of the 80-seat Bangsamoro Parliament. Our third judge is Hassan Bin Andin. He is currently the Chief Executive Officer of Seri Borneo Power, a member of the Saba Photographic Society since 1994 and owner of the BA Arts and Photography Studio in Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia. He organized the first Tawi Tawi International Photo Tour last April 15 to 21. 2016 and Batana's photo tour in April 1 to 5, 2017. He is an organizer and official photographer of the yearly Riyagata Lepa Sabah, Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, the most awaited part of the program has come. Let's start the awarding ceremony by recognizing the contestants. First to be awarded are the winners from the province of Basilan. For third prize, Ampau Liman Jarmaru. Second prize, Mawasi Ibrahim Sangkalahan. First prize, Abdurrahim Abubakar. For consolation prizes, Donna Barameda, Sahirun Muhammad Ershad Dama, Aman Shaima Eto, Kiman Juhra Maalum, and Randa Ibrahim Kuru. Next, here are the winners from the province of Lanao del Sur. For third prize, Mitmog Ashari Second Prize Kamal Aziza Sarad First Prize Mangata Al Arif Plawan
for consolation prizes, Marukum Tasnim Malatus, Jamel Amir Hussein Makabuat, Monin Nehaya Barani, Pansar Johai Maguro, and Lumna Sahar. Here are the winners from the province of Sulu. For third prize, Norusidar Mukatil. Second prize, Abdurasul Wahidan Jr. First prize, Nursalin Mukatil. For consolation prizes, Rizan Mukaram and Al-Hafiz Kinara. Next, the winners from the province of Maguindanao. For third prize, Muhammad Al-Hajjar Pindula. Second prize, Amiruddin Obpon. First prize, Abdullah Mahmud. For consolation prizes, Ara Samsudin, Carrasco Rico Chodoro, Saiwan Samer, Manuel Cali, and Kaunotan by Alisa Parnan. For the winners from the province of Tawi-Tawi, Third prize, Muhammad Shibli. Second prize, Ahmed Didab Ibrahim. First prize, Ali Mukhtar Muhammad Tilka. For consolation prizes, William Sulano, Negs Basri, Rina Lei Carion, Rina Joy Baran Carion, Umba Abuel. Last but not the least, here are the winners from Cotabato City. For third prize, Muhammad Said Gandawali. Second prize, Panganting Abdul Wahid Haji Jaffa. First prize, Sali Zangkala. For consolation prize, Mamuribid Anisa Abdul. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you for participating in the 2021 photo contest and we are hoping that all of the contestants will participate again the next year. Before we come to an end, I would like to call on the OIC Director of the Bureau of Tourism of MTID, Director John Lomboy. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We had just witnessed the awarding ceremony of the MTIT Photo Contest 2021 dubbed as Bangsamoro, revealing its hidden treasure. Our entrants have pushed themselves in coming up with photos that really depicts the hidden treasures of the Bangsamoro region. We would like to remind you that the photographs that you had provided will not be wasted. It will be utilized as information, education, and communication materials of the ministry to, pro to promote and market the different tourism potentials as well as the trade and industry assets of the Bangsamoro region. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to the following, to our photo contest judges, Honorable Amil Bahar S. Nawalil, Member of the Parliament, 
Mr. Hassan Bin Anding, Chief Executive Officer of Seri Borneo Power Sandirihan Berhad, and Mr. Ferdinand B. Cabrera, freelance journalist, for giving us their precious time to painstakingly rate our photo entries. To the driving force behind this photo contest, Minister Abu Amri A. Tadik, Deputy Minister Attorney Sukarno Abbas, Director General Roslaini A. Sinarimbo, and for the moving spirit whom tenaciously worked during the course of this contest, and our Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim for his invaluable support for the success of this MTIT Photo Contest 2021, our deepest gratitude goes to all of you. To all those award winners, I congratulate you. To everyone else, I hope you will enjoy to continue support the initiative of the Ministry of Trade, Investments and Tourism and the Wangsamoro Autonomous Regional Government as a whole. Now, I declare MTIT Photo Contest 2021 close. Wabillahi Taufik wal Hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, OIC Director Lomboy. We would like to take this opportunity to thank our officials, speakers, and contestants for participating in the first ever photo contest of MTIT. Thank you also to all the MTIT staff, stakeholders, and partners who made this event possible. This has been Fem Mambatawan, your host for the 2021 photo contest, Bang Samoro, revealing its hidden treasures. Stay safe everyone and wassalam.